Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Copernicus Sentinel 2A satellite takes us over northern Serbia to the region of Vojvodina. The area pictured lies in the southern part of a region covered by the Pannonian Sea some 2 to 23 million years ago. Today, the land boasts a fertile soil. Hence, the plethora of agricultural fields, visible as geometric shapes, reminiscent of cubist artwork. The Tiza River snakes down from the north. Curved, brush-stroke-like, light green areas, primarily along the east side of the river, reveal its former course. Some of these areas are now used for agriculture, while others may still be too wet. We can also see man-made waterways appearing as straight black lines, likely for draining the swamps, transportation, or irrigation. Nestled among the fields, there are a number of small towns with grid layouts. This type of city planning was invented by ancient Greece's Hippodamus, known as the father of European urban planning. The image was captured on August 28th of 2016 and is clearly in false color, and different colors indicate varying vegetative states. For example, yellowish patches indicate soil or freshly plowed land, while shades of blue indicate either the same crop or different crops at a similar stage of growth. Sentinel-2's main instrument has 13 spectral bands and is designed to provide images that can be used to distinguish between different crop types as well as data on numerous plant features, such as active chlorophyll content and leaf water content, all of which are essential to accurately monitor plant growth. This kind of information helps inform decisions to be made whether they are about deciding how much water or fertilizer is needed for a maximum harvest or for forming strategies to address climate change. While this has obvious economic benefits, this kind of information is also important for developing countries where food security is an issue. And that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, have a great day.